hello so uh, in this video i will explain uh, one more uh, function which is being used for including more than uh, three or four numerical and categorical variables at a time right now let's just take three uh, categorical variables one of those is a smoke low and race so these are three categorical vari uh, variables so smoke is three uh, smoke is two categories low is two categories zero and one and race is three categories one two and three so we have three categorical vari uh, variables which we are taking into account earlier i have already explained you that how to plot a bar plot for a single categorical variable uh, which is given below gg plot give the data argument and geom underscore bar and x is equal to smoke just write this and then select this and hit control enter you see here we have for zero and one so from the data it is very clear that non uh, the smokers are lesser than the non smokers this is very clear here but now what we want to include is say the low variable or say we want to see this thing uh, distribution of a smoke 0 and 1 we we can see that uh, the smokers are lesser than the non smokers let's see that if it is true for all the race categories or if it is only uh, true for one of these categories for that what we can do is we can plot the same thing for separately what we can do we can use the function plus face it underscore wrap and write tilde and write race now again select this and hit control enter now you get three bar three boxes for each of the three categories so one box two box and three box so first box is for the race is equal to one category and race is equal to two category and the third box is race is equal to three categories so it is clear that for race is equal to first category the smokers are more than the non-smokers in the second race category both are equally probable and in the third race category uh, the non-smokers are quite higher than the smokers so from this kind of visualization it is very obvious to see that for different race categories what is the uh, distribution of the smoke categories Earlier we were just having the smoke distribution across the whole population but right now we are now uh, dividing the whole population into three categories which is race categories and it's clear that from the first race category have more smokers than the non-smokers. Now let's include one more variable which is the low variable and first let's see what is low variable you can just see help birth wt wt on the right hand side you see the low is indicator of birth weight less than 2.5 kg if the birth weight is less than 2.5 kg or not i would suggest to please read all these uh, each of these variables so to make uh, more meaning in this data set so this is the indicator of birth weight less than 2.5 so let's include this variable here two variables are already included a smoke is included here which is telling about the distribution of that smoke number of observations in each category and we have three boxes for race now what we do is after smoke you write fill is equal to as root factor low now select this and hit control enter again if you see we have three boxes one or uh, one box for each of the race categories the first box is for first race category and the second is for second race and third is for third race category then we have the smokers as one and non-smokers as zero and then uh, each of these uh, boxes are still more divided into two parts or oh, divided by the number of observations in the low categories so so what we can see in the smokers if you see 
that birth weight less than 2.5 kg is this blue one and birth weight uh, more than 2.5 kg is this zero so we can see that somewhere it is quite equally probable but here in the non-smokers what you can see the distribution of low is quite different so low is equal to zero is quite more in the non-smokers the smokers uh, low is equal to one becomes more equally likely that difference between the low is equal to zero and low is equal to one becomes uh, lesser in the smokers case in the race third category we can see still it is more uh, the it is equally it is 50 50 almost 50 50 for the smokers so for all the smokers in each of the race categories we can see that the difference between the low categories is very small but for the non-smokers case in each of the three race categories uh, there is a quite different uh, there is a uh, uh, there is a different separation between the two categories 0 and 1 and 0 is more than 1 in the low categories so now we have three categories here one is the smoke which is telling us the number of observations for each of the race categories and then each of these uh, smoke is categories being subdivided by the low low is 0 or 1 so each of these is uh, colored by uh, by the two colors so here we have included the three variables of uh, smoke low and race and all these are categorical variables now what we can do is we could have also done uh, for the continuous variable let's take one more example let's uh, plot the density for bwt which is a continuous variable numerical variable and do what what you want to do is say just take face underscore wrap race so what you get here is you get the density plot for bwt for each of the race categories so you can see the differences in the density plot of bwt in each of the race categories so this is numerical variable bwt and this is categorical now say if you want to include one more variable uh, say smoke you can give in the face at underscore just write plus and write a smoke you will get more boxes there now see we have different combinations uh, race and a smoke so up this first row is race categories and the second is a smoke so first uh, row you can see one one two two three three and in the bottom row you see zero one zero one zero one that is the smoke so if you see the first of the six boxes on the upper hand that is one and zero that is race is equal to one and uh, smoke is zero you get the density plot for this category uh, bwt so you can see that uh, this is little bit right little bit left is skewed the, it is a high tail on the left side now if you see the third uh, race is equal to third category and smoke is equal to zero that is non smokers you can see it is almost a normal distribution similarly for the race is equal to two category and the uh, uh, and the non-smokers that is uh, smoke is equal to zero the, it is again a normal distribution we can see that in the race is equal to two category and the smokers case we we get two or uh, two peaks which is a bimodal uh, dispersion uh, bimodal uh, distribution of this bwt we have two significant peaks here so we, we we can see that for the smokers case we get more than one peak say one here and one here and in the in the last case also race is equal to three and one we have two peaks so if you want to see the differences in the density or the histogram you can plot like this you could have done also this control c and control v you could have written instead of density you could have written histogram the rest remains the same so you can get the histogram 
So I think this is clear that how you can use the facet underscore wrap to get more uh, feeling of the data, how the variables are linked and if there is any kind of pattern in the data. So I will be posting more videos in um, uh, about this, how you can do different kind of visualizations. So thanks for watching this video.